It's one of the country's main commercial corridors, linking the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach to America's consumer economy. But the 710 freeway is a congested and creaky relic straining to keep up with modern expectations. For more than two decades, Southern California transportation officials have pondered how to accommodate the roadway's swelling truck and automobile traffic, and they've always come to the same conclusion, we need a bigger freeway. But their plans always run into the same obstacles. A wider 710 freeway would likely mean even worse pollution for neighboring communities, including those in Long Beach, Linwood and Bell Gardens, that suffer some of the nation's worst air quality. And it would require gobbling up surrounding homes and businesses from predominantly low-income, Latino residents. Now the project faces another, potentially even greater, complication. Federal environmental regulators recently found that the latest $6 billion proposal to expand the 710 freeway might violate Clean Air Act standards, forcing state and local transportation officials to consider scrapping the effort and starting over with an entirely new approach. I don't see how we can move forward with this project in its current format, said Tox Omashakin, director of the California Department of Transportation, at a meeting last week of the California Transportation Commission. The project, Omashakin said, is not aligning with the direction that we are taking at the state from a transportation standpoint, just plain and simple. Balancing the demands of expanding commercial traffic against the health needs of people living near the freeway has long been a challenge. The southern portion of the 710 freeway, a roughly 20-mile stretch that runs from Long Beach to Alhambra, is congested with diesel-spewing trucks that deliver imported furniture, auto parts, electronics and clothing across the country. Together, the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach handle more than 30% of the nation's waterborne containerized shipping traffic. Currently, 50,000 diesel-fueled freight trucks and 165,000 other vehicles travel the freeway each day, bottlenecks are common. With port traffic expected to nearly triple between 2012 and 2035, the situation is only expected to decline. If nothing is done, transportation officials warn in environmental documents, roadways will get worse, and this in turn, will have the potential to adversely affect the competitive position of the Los Angeles region in the global economy. But nearby residents urge planners to weigh the human cost. Already, those living near the 710 freeway face high rates of asthma and other health disparities, with some referring to the corridor as Cancer Alley. Community groups for decades have fought plans to widen the freeway. An early 2000s effort to add double-decker lanes to the freeway would have displaced nearly 1,000 families and businesses.